moving averages, how lots of traders design their systems, but how about making a channel for usual movements of price using moving average envelopes? Welcome to Mini Traders. Having a border of price which shows us the probable area for price change can help us in designing the system. It can be used to determine where to put the stop loss or we can use it as an overbought and oversold area. In this video, we are going to talk about moving average envelopes and how to use them in designing our strategy. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell under this video to get notified when I upload new videos. As a start, let's answer this question. What's an angle? A moving average angle made up of two moving averages with same period, above and under the main moving average, with a percentage of difference. You can find it in the meta trader from insert, indicators, trend, envelopes. You can search it in trading view and select built-in indicator. Here are some settings, but the main settings are about the period of moving average and the percentage of bounding. As we always, the period of moving average, we will include more candles in averaging and lines would be more smooth, but more related to previous data. And as we rise the percentage, our bounds will get wider. There is no magical number for them, and it depends on strategy, instrument, usage, and so on. But it will be easier when you know how to use it. Envelope can be used as a trend following indicator or as a counter trend one. Let's see simple trend following strategy rules. Notice that this system probably not gonna work. It's simply for knowing how to use it. Rules are simple. Buy when candle close above the upper bar. Sell when candle close under the lower bar. For doing this, we should use low percentage to decrease the bits of bounding area and we have enough buy and sell signals. The picture shows us how the system works. As I said, we can use it as an overbought and oversold indicator. Rules are again simple. Buy when prices hit lower bound, sell when prices hit upper bound. For doing this, we should use wider bounds. As you might have noticed, these methods of trading are not what we want. But if you know how it works, you can use it as a part of your trading strategy. You can combine it with other studies like ABX, for example, and find some ways to reduce the mistakes of it. This indicator can be used for indicating trend, timing the entry, Set, setting stop loss, and it's applicable for both trend following and counter trend strategies. Combine it with other studies and make your strategy. This video has come to its end. If you enjoyed this video, like it and share this video with anyone you think that might need it. Thanks for watching, have a good time, and bye.